This is video number 66 for violin and viola players. And in this video, we are going to be talking about common time signature, as well as learning how to play 100 through 102 in your book. So I need you open to number, page number 27. Um, now, we're not going to do any echoing on the G string. I, think, I don't think we need to do that anymore. Just a couple reminders. Make sure your elbow is really far under here, and make sure you're using more weight on your bow, but don't use as much bow when you're playing on the G string. Okay, remember those things. Now look at 100 in your book and then look directly above it. See where it says time signature? Another term for that is meter. Um, and it has a C and it says common time. It's the exact same thing as 4-4 four, four time. All right, um, that, it's just another name for it. So you don't have to learn anything new other than, hey, it has a new name. That's it, okay? Four beats in a measure, coordinate gets the beat. That's all. So why does it even exist? Well, back in the day when people actually had to write out the time signature because there were no copiers, came up with this because so, this was easier than writing four and four. And it's just um, kind of held over through the time. So you'll see that, that common time, that C, what that C means is that it's four, four time, also known as common time. Well, why is it called common time? Well, because most of the songs you'll ever play are in four, four time. I mean, even when you get more advanced, a lot of music is in 4-4 time. And especially your, your first few years of playing, they definitely, most of the songs you're going to play is going to be in 4-4 time. Okay, so now 100, of course, we're going to look at our key signature from now on. We're in G major, F sharps, but no C sharps, which is good because we don't know how to play C sharp on the G string yet. I want you to use independent fingers where you feel it's necessary, where you feel it's appropriate. Shadow bow from the beginning. Notice there's a pattern with this one. The sooner you recognize the pattern, the better off you're going to be, the sooner you're going to learn the song. Okay? Shadow bow, 100, and 1, 2, shadow bow, and go. G, B, G, B, A, A, now A to C. Now get that fourth finger ready. Fourth finger. So that whole song is all on the G string, okay? Every time you see a D, there's a fourth finger. Now, hopefully you found the pattern, all right? It goes, it skips up, skips up, then goes back to the note it skipped. Then starts one note higher. A skips a C, A skips a C, goes back to the note it skipped. Now, on the second line, it's still the pattern, but it's inverted. It's a variation on the pattern, all right? And it goes D to B, D to B, and then goes to the note it skipped and played C. The last two measures, not part of the pattern, or they're their own thing. Try playing that now. If you feel like you need to shadow bow again, absolutely, pause the video, shadow bow. Join me when you're ready. And one, two, red C, and go. using independent fingers, I'm sure you recognize that when you're going just G to B, just put your second finger down. Don't put your first finger down until you need it. And then in measure three, when you go A to C, keep your one down, but just move the three. And then put the B down. But keep, don't pick up the one. There's no point in picking up the one. You're coming right back to it. So keep your one down, pick up, and just move the three, keep your two in the air, and then you then put it down when you need it. Okay? Same thing on that second line. Keep it, do four, two, four, two. Okay, let's go on to number 100. Now there are, um, this is, this is going to seem like it's easy because Baba Black Sheep is the same little theme as Twinkle Twinkle the Little Star. Okay, uh, what I want you to do though very quickly, take out a pencil and I want you to number your measures because I'm going to ask you to play in a particular measure. So, um, there should be, when you get to the end of the first line, there are six measures and then there should be, um, you have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 on the second line. So this is a violin book. Violas, you can, you can still copy that. Okay, pause it if you need to. 
because I'm going to ask you to play in a particular measure because there's, there's two places people tend to mess up, all right? Now, before we even shadow bow it, we're going to talk about those measures. I want you to look at measure five and six. Now look what the notes are doing. It's going D, C, B, A, down the G major scale. Easy, right? Four, three, two, one. Now look at the rhythm. Run pony, easy. So you're gonna go, this is five and six. Run pony, run pony, run pony, half note. Okay, play that for me. Play that with me. Measure five and six. We're not shadow boring yet. We'll shadow in a minute. Play measure five and six. And one, two, play, right, say, and go. D. Run, only, half, no. Try that again. One, two, play, five and six, and go. Run, only, run, only, run, only, half, no. Seems easy. Okay, good. Easy to down the scale. Good. Now look at measure seven and eight. Now look at the notes. That also goes D, C, B, A, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, down the, the G major scale. Easy. This is going to trick you, though, because look, it goes run, pony, pony, run. It's going to mess you up. I'm telling you. Play measure seven and eight. Echo me on measure seven and eight. Fourth finger down, elbows around. Run, pony, pony, run. Now, I want you to shadow bow from the beginning. I know it seems weird to shadow bow when you've played, but just trust me, this is the best way to learn this. Shadow bow from the beginning, and one, two, shadow bow, and go. G. Pony, half, note, run, pony, pony, run. That's the part you're going to mess up on. Prove me wrong and play it perfect. Okay, beginning and one, two, red, say, and go. <laughs> that before you try to go on to the next song. We're going to go on to 102. Now 102, look at the first two measures. They look exactly the same. D, B, D, D, B, D, but look, they're played differently. You're going to go 4, 2, 4, 4, 2, open D, and why is that? Look at measure 3. What happens in measure 3? You go to an E. So the open D in measure 2 makes sense. The fourth finger in measure one makes sense because you're going, you're staying on the G string. Okay? Make sure you're practicing it that way and playing it that way. Just do measure one and two of 102. Okay? Echo me. <laughs> B now open D okay now I want you now to shadow both from the beginning okay it seems weird to shadow after we've played but 
There's one other place you're going to mess up. It's going to be kind of the end of the first line, beginning of the second line. We'll work on that in a minute. Okay, shut a bow. One, independent fingers again. Four, two, four, no reason for three to go down. One, two, shadow bow, and go. <laughs> plus one note. Echo me on that. Last measure of the first line plus one note. You should be looking at an A first finger. Play that. Just to the fourth finger. Try that with me. Red C and go. A, B, C. That's the part that people mess up on. B, C, D. Okay. Now do measure the last measure of the first line. First measure of the second line. Echo me. Go. A, B, C, B, C, fourth finger, open, G, G, G. Okay, if you didn't get that, pause it and get it. Okay, and then the rest of the song is really pretty easy. Um, look at measure two, the second line, it's just up a scale. Okay, so if you feel like you need to pause it and practice the whole thing, please do so. We're going to try to play it all together now, the whole thing. Beginning. Remember, four, two, four, four, two, open. Don't forget that. And one, two, independent fingers go. just you probably didn't get it right this first time that's okay practice it practice it get it right understand your g string notes keep practicing on this page until you all get all of it right 